Okay, so our timer went off and our screen's done exposing, so we're going to go ahead and pull this apart. Open our machine up, pull the platen off, and pull our screen off. Now you can see you've got this yellowy color is where the black was, and everything else is kind of that bluish green. What we're going to do is go ahead and come over to our sink. And the part where it's yellow will be able to wash that emulsion out. You can rub your fingers across it a little bit, that'll help things come out. Also, if you have a sponge for this part, that will help too. But you don't have to have one. This and use our sprayer and go ahead and spray that on a little bit. And then you just want to take a good close look at this and make sure you got everything where you want it. And you've washed out enough stuff. Now the particular font we used on this has kind of a jagged edge, so this doesn't have a real crisp detail, but that's the look we're going for. And I'm just going to rinse that out just a little bit more. And then you can go ahead and you want to wipe most of this, the excess water off of this. At this point, we've exposed our screen enough that it doesn't matter if we get light on it now. So we're going to want to look this over real close and make sure that we don't have any other voids in it that we can see where uh, the ink might make it through. Now you can see down here I've got a few spots that might, the ink's probably not going to make it through but the emulsion didn't actually stick to the screen and that will create a little pocket for the ink to get stuck in and so that's where this product right here comes into play and this is called Blockout and we'll go ahead and open this up here should have planned ahead a little bit on this, but and what this is going to do is this is going to take any spots we have in our screen, and you may want to put a smaller hole in the top of this. I got a little bit too big of a hole there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take and rub a little bit of this block out into these voids. And basically what this block out is, is it's just, it's the same as this emulsion product. It's just in a liquid form. So we'll rub that into any holes we have there, anything we see. And then what we'll want to do is we'll stick it back in the drying rack for just a few minutes just to make sure that any extra water is dried off of there. And we'll turn the fan on. And then once that's dry, we'll actually throw it back on the light box and expose that for a few minutes more, just so that any of that blockout material has a chance to convert into a solid product and so that our ink won't interfere with it.